Well guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today, I gotta work on my own stuff. I was driving the other day on uh, Monday night, and I was actually, uh, on a, I had a road call, uh, got called out to another town to, for work, and I was cruising down the turnpike. Uh, I happened to be watching uh, No Judgment with Tish, Ro Tish Ross uh, at the time, and I heard a clank uh, from my engine compartment of my truck and I prepared you know I held the steering wheel waited for something to go wrong and nothing went wrong so I was kind of wondering what it was I got to looking behind my uh, in my side mirror to you know to see if something was falling off or something in the road and I happened to see something bounce out from under my truck into the other lane so I thought well maybe something small you know who knows what it might be so I kept on driving and I got to thinking, maybe I should go back and see what it was because it might be something important. So uh, I turned around, I went back, and this is what I found inside on the road. So at first, I knew it looked familiar, but I, wasn't, I, I couldn't place exactly what it was. So the whole trip there, uh, which I was on a 45 minute trip there, then I had to drive another uh, 40 minutes to the next location and then an additional uh, 35 minutes home. And uh, the whole time I'm just like, well, I'm hoping something don't fall off because I don't have what it takes to fix, whatever it might be. But anyways, the next day I, I looked at it and uh, discovered it's to my lug nuts. And I'll show you why it was so hard to tell on my truck. And uh, but today... We're gonna fix that problem and we'll bring you guys along and and show you so when I get in there I'll show you why it was so tough to figure out exactly what it was and exactly how bad it could have been so uh, let's get in there and get busy so as you can see here you can't really tell what the problem is once I take this tire off then you can see much better. You notice the problem? It wasn't just one. It's one, two, three, four, five. So out of eight, I've got three left. I'm really glad I noticed that. If I hadn't went and picked that up, I never would have been looking at my, uh, I wouldn't have been looking at this and checking it out. And if those three would have come off, my whole tire would have come off going down the interstate. I drive daily. Every day I go, uh, 30 miles to work. 30 miles home and I drive around during that and that's if I don't go anywhere special so and it's up the interstate you know 75 miles an hour so that could have been really bad if I hadn't noticed that so thank you Jesus for making me want to turn around to check it out that could have been that could have been real bad I'm gonna get some tools and we'll get the rest of this taken off I'm going to get the rest of these off first. We're going to get them broke loose. So I'll take it off while it's still on. I do need to go try to order real quick is some more of these nuts because my new hub does not come with them. I better go check that out right now before it's too late. Let's go check that out. 
precision wheel hub. It does not. It's not come with those nuts, so I better go get those ordered. So these are what back in here. Well, I guess you don't see. But back in here are these lug nuts right here that has snapped off. Yeah, if you're wondering what this set back it is not a cheap part. It's uh, I got the invoice right here. Uh, $491.51 so yeah this is not a, not not too happy not thrilled at all about this so I'm gonna go call and get them parts sent over here real quick and then we'll, we'll be right back to finish the job alright now I'm back at it here I had to run to the store and get my new nuts to connect here the ones that's broke off I've lost so I had to replace them now we'll get this done all right now I'm gonna take these brakes off so I'm gonna try to get my pry bar in here to loosen them up off my rotors I need to turn my wheels slightly so I can get my ratchet in there back behind me.
Okay, so there it is. Old one's off. I think it's still good. No. Let's 
it was going out anyway, so that's needed needed replaced. Can y'all hear that? I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's got some wear inside there, so needed it anyhow. Get all this grime out of there. Kind of clean that up a little bit. Let's uh, spray that out. Just carb cleaner, nothing special. It's not very good on this thing. This will be a little tiny magnet, but it helps. It's better if you can hang it, but I can't hang it. Oh, maybe I can right here. Maybe that'll get me somewhere. Yep, that done it. Okay, now let's go back with a new one. And this is a step I always forget. Don't forget to put this back on. I mean, I don't always forget, but I have forgotten in the past. Some of these hard to reach places, a good old wobble socket comes in handy. Now I'm going to get my torque wrench and uh, torque these bolts to what they need to be. So let's go grab that and get them torqued.
All right, got my torque wrench here. I got to uh, torque the bolts holding this onto the steering knuckle itself, which is 120 foot pounds. You do not want this to fall off going down the road. Okay. I'm not going to do it all at once. I'm going to the same one. I'm going to kind of alternate it a little bit. I need to turn that a little bit more. Let me see if I can turn that. Get that. That's it. Oh, God. So I hope that's enough. Well, not really. It's not enough. So, we have to just. Uh, Can't get my torque wrench inside there to tighten these last two up. I got a little bit, but not much. So, <clears throat> 120 foot pounds is a lot, quite a bit. So, I'm just tightening them as tight as I can get them. <clears throat> and then it'll be enough. Ugh. Okay. back together. I'll go ahead and I inspect all my parts as I'm putting them back on to make sure they're looking good. Glazed over, everything looks fine. 
rover back on. Put the brake bracket back on. Move my light. Kind of in a hurry here. So I'll show you guys exactly every step I'm doing, but pretty much just want to show you the uh, process of changing out the hub and not really, you know, changing the brakes and all that. So that's why I'm not really explaining it too much. Hope you guys understand. And it is. Getting pretty late. I should have went home a couple hours ago. Well, when I noticed them bolts was broke off, like I said, I, I when I was driving down the turnpike, I, I really didn't know what it was. And then after I got back the next morning, I, I said, that's a, that's a lug nut. And so it dawned on me, I went out and I looked and I had two, two or three of them that was missing. And I thought, well, in a day or two, I'll get them on. And then uh, I looked today, luckily I glanced down at them and noticed that I only had three left. So I was not going to take the chance of going down the interstate. Not only is it my life that could be in danger, what if it broke and I slammed into somebody else? Then I'm putting somebody else in danger now, and I'm not gonna take that chance. Now these only have to be 80 foot pounds. back on. I've already inspected them. Let's go ahead and make sure I'm putting them the right way here. Great. Squeeze broke off of that one.
the battery powered ratchet will tighten up the 50 torque foot pounds. Torque is 50 foot pounds. So it's pretty stout. Lock all these on. Alright. Oh, my, my light just died, so perfect timing to be done. Almost. Looks well, a good timer on it, but I doubt it. Nope, it died. We'll get that out of the way. Okay. Now, I believe we're ready. I just go back over everything and check it out. Make sure I've got it all. I got that plugged in. All these hooked up. The brakes, both of those. The bracket. All three of them. Shields in play. Okay. All right. Put this piece back on. If I didn't have all these nuts that I needed. I tried to go get some, but nobody has them. So I have to use some of the old ones I got, which if I had all eight old ones, I'd use them. But I don't, so I won't. I'm gonna space out the ones I do have. four old ones so I'm putting I'll space them out with one in between I'm gonna go ahead and straighten that wheel up I'm gonna leave it I'll leave it that way I did buy some more lug nuts that I might use until I can get them ordered they won't fit so I ain't using those Well, I guess, like I said, I'll just use what I got here. This is just a spacer because I've got a dually. So therefore, it's for the dually rims to go on it. I'd have to have it, but I'm not gonna change it now.
to the moon. Yep. Let me back you out here. You can just kind of see how I'm going to tighten this up. I can't get a torque wrench inside there, but my lug nuts are supposed to be 145 foot pounds, so it's tight. So this is not good. That's not too tight for them. I do want to make sure if you can see I'm going back and forth instead of a circle because I want to do this evenly. So I know I'm getting a good snow grip on it. One nut here that's a different size. So we'll get a one inch wrench, see if that's it. Alright, so 
So there it is. Wish I had one more for that, but I'll get it. I'll pick it up tomorrow. All right, guys, we got it swapped out. Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, wasn't too long, took us about 30, 45 minutes or so. So it wasn't really too bad. But uh, just thought I'd show you, it's not always great around here. Sometimes our stuff breaks down. I don't mind working other people's stuff because I get paid for it. But when I gotta work on my own stuff, it just costs me money. But uh, I, got a, I got a tow a trailer up there, a gooseneck trailer. So I really, I'm, I'm glad I caught this because it could have been bad if, if I'd have been going down the road, especially pulling this trailer. But anyways, I appreciate y'all watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.